All right, all right, all right. This is Heel Talk Radio on chaoticradio.com. I am your most excellent host, the five card stud Jeff Maverick. And tonight there is no, no fucks given Cole Dawson. Um, guy decided to decided to ditch me and, and go see his brother in law wrestle tonight at the Riverside Muni. So uh, you know, have fun out there, Big Daddy. Um, give Johnny a hug for me. So, uh, but what I do have today is I've got Luke here. I'm not going to let him talk just yet because uh, I'm going to make him stew and stew and stew because I'm going to have to spend an entire evening camping in front of a comic book shop with this kid tonight. So, um, so yeah, tonight, uh, Luke and I going to go, go and do the whole, uh, camping out for free comic book day. Yeah, you can talk. I, I've got it on now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a maverick men tradition. We're freaking nerds at heart. And you got to be to be a wrestling fan. But, I mean, we're both rocking our freaking Flash t-shirts because we're going to be, you know, ganging some, some free comics tomorrow. Maybe get some pops. Possibly a couple new comic books. I know your sister wants some Doom Patrol, so maybe I'll check that out. Uh, you know, it's got Beast Boy in it. Yeah. yeah. You might want to get that thing closer to your face. There you go. Right there. There you go, Dad. Right there, buddy. Sorry about that. It's okay. So, uh, anything you looking forward to in particular? Um, no, not really. Maybe some Nightwing comic books. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Nightwing's sick. What about you, Mike? No, Mike Mike doesn't have his things on. But if you look in the back over there, we we go every year. Even as a even as a radio station. If I'm not mistaken, Jack of All Nerds will be out there sometime tomorrow. We're going up to Four Color Fantasies, Rancho Cucamonga. It's over here off of Archibald. Um, the festivities actually start at eleven o'clock in the morning. Um, they're gonna have giveaways comic book artists there uh you know they're get, usually they'll have some uh movie replica uh vehicles like last time they had the uh, batman car they did they had the batmobile they had the delorean and they had a, a jeep from jurassic park which was pretty sick i'm all about the delorean for from back to the future because that's one of my top five favorite movies of all time it's because i'm a nerd but nerd. Yeah, we're all nerds. Nerds. So, Luke, how's your week been? We've, we've shit, dude. We we've, we've been gone for a week. So, uh, what you got going on? What 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 in wrestling is interesting to you at the moment? The Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys. You're you're stoked about the Hardy. You know that that is one thing. Uh, you've been a a big Jeff Hardy fan since. I mean, you're only what ten now. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've been a Hardy boy, Jeff Hardy fan for quite some time over, I would have to actually say over half your life. So that's, that's kind of cool. I know that must've been exciting for you. Yeah. Um, did you get to see any of the stuff from TNA? I know I don't let you really watch that. No. Yeah. His broken Jeff Hardy stuff was really cool. I, I watched some his, of the brother sorry, Nero His brother stuff. Nero stuff. Yeah. The brother Nero stuff was real cool. Um, you know, he's, he's no Hulk Hogan. Uh, Mike, I don't think I really like that view right there, man. I, there we go. It's switching back and forth. Um, uh, I think I might have a bald spot now. I'm not cool with that. So, uh, <laughs> vanity, thy name is Maverick. Um, I'll tell you what I'm, I'm kind of stoked about. Uh, we got Shinsuke Knox up on Tuesday nights now. Um, and, and. We've got so many matches that that are that can be done with him that can be cool. Like they could make the remake of Shinsuke versus AJ. Well, yeah, they could do that. I, I don't see them doing that anytime soon. Um, in fact, I'm thinking what they're thinking is build that one up for WrestleMania, which would be a great idea. Yeah. Um, in fact, what they need to do if they're going to do something like that is start that right around SummerSlam. And then just nail it home at one at WrestleMania. Um, 
I don't know. So I'm 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 excited about Shinsuke being on on Tuesday nights. Um, I'm excited about all the possibilities. Really, kind of want to see him and uh, and Orton. That one that one just to me just seems like it'd be really cool. Um, shit, dude. I mean, there's there's tons and tons and tons of possibilities on that one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. Of course you don't. You're a kid. Kids don't know nothing. Why don't you go get my? Okay. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, if you guys are watching us over here on the YouTube, uh, give me some questions, give me some comments. What do you, what are you guys digging in the wrestling world right now? Um, another thing I'm kind of looking forward to is, uh, Bart's women's tournament coming up here in May, uh, that, or sorry, in April, that one's going to be really cool. In fact, I'll actually get the date for you. Um, it's a, a women's tournament. He does it every year, and he's been he culminates it with kind of a, a five on five women versus men's match, which is always cool. Um, my girl Candice LeRae gonna be in the tournament. She's obviously one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. Definitely. So. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm really really stoked about that. That's coming up here. Uh, shit, let me look it up. What about you, kid? What do you like? Uh, Matt Hardy. Matt that Hardy. he's still broken. Yeah, he's he's, he's slightly broken. I think he's more scuffed Matt Hardy right now than anything. Um, shit, where is it at? Damn, dude. Bart's got a lot of stuff going on. Bart with AWS. I mean, it's just the best. All right, so. The AWS women's tournament is may 27th so the end of this month i'm definitely going to be out at that one we got uh freaking shotzi blackheart hudson envy solo Envy or solo darling uh lufisto nicole Sa savoy and candice lorraine and then there's several several others that one's going to be a good one to go to yeah we got a a rocker going on in there. So, uh, man, I really should have did some research this week. Yeah. All right. So now that Jeff Hardy's back in the WWE and Matt Hardy to another extent, we'll, we'll get to Matt Hardy lately, a little later. I know you're liking their, their tag team run. What would you like to see them do in singles action? Um, I would like to see another Jeff versus Matt just in a, Really good ladder match for the WWE Universal title if they go into a singles. Man, that, that's been done to death, though. I mean, that's how Brother Nero came about was there a feud between those two. I, I don't know about that one. I just uh, like well, feuds between the Hardys. Oh, of course you do. You're a mark. Mark. Oh, man. So, uh... I don't know, man. I I I really don't want to see a, another Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy thing. Okay, that's just my opinion now. Well, your opinion is wrong. Is, well, I, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. You always have. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. There's a lot of things going on tonight. So, um, let's see. I, I'm I'm not even really sure what's going on in the world of wrestling right now because I mean. Honestly, WWE has been pissing me off lately. Uh, I know that they 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 got the superstar shakeup going on, but my biggest thing right now is I finally went back and I watched that freaking atrocity of a match between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, the the House of Horrors match. I never watched. It, it. was crap. They should have just called it a crack den of horrors match. I mean, it literally looked like somebody's house. They they just didn't wash it. They didn't clean. That's it. You know, it was literally a dilapidated house in San Jose. That's just dumb. It was stupid. It was freaking retarded. And I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to do some stuff that that is working for TNA, and it's working for Lucha Underground, but it's not something that, that works for WWE. Uh, it's just been freaking retarded lately, and I'm, I'm pissed off about it. I'm done done watching the WWE product, I mean, 
I'm not gonna stop watching it, but they really, really, really need to just just do something about their their thrown together stories, their short angles. Uh, I honestly thought the Randy Orton and and Bray Wyatt thing should have gone longer. It shouldn't have been a a storyline that was dropped at WrestleMania or at Payback or whatever this last one was. It should have been something that went that that didn't even start kicking off as a rivalry until WrestleMania. I would have loved to have seen Randy Orton be in the freaking Wyatt family for a year, a year solid to the day, and then start sowing seeds of of discourse in the group. Because uh, honestly, this whole bullshit with them blowing it off at Mania and then re blowing it off at at Payback was just crap. They could have made it good. Like, even better than, I don't know, a great match. They could have made it SummerSlam to WrestleMania to a, another pay-per-view. I don't know which one. I don't really care which one. Um, and they could have made it, like, a great match. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they what it comes down to is right now, these guys don't get the freedom to do a decent a decent match. And now that, now that Randy Orton and... and Bray Wyatt are on two separate shows. We're not going to get a proper blow off to that match or that feud. It's it, it kind of pisses me off because that that could have been something really really special for both of them, and it was just kind of tossed away because they wanted to try projecting worms and shit on a freaking wrestling ring. It was stupid, and and honestly, that's that's the kind of bullshit that that angers me about that about this business. All right, so Shay from from Cannabis Couch on the way out. All right, there. And I have no idea where the hell YouTube went. Oh, there we go. All right, so anywho. That's just one of the many things that have been bugging me about the wrestling business. Well, about WWE lately. Um, just really, really kind of tired of of short short feuds that seem to just be thrown together for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now, as far as your boys the Hardy goes, I want to see them feuding with Gallows and Anderson um, at least for a good few months on that one. And then... Give the belts back to Gallows and Anderson and go their separate ways. Or even more, so, I mean, not so much go their separate ways. I really don't think WWE needs the Hardys as much as they think they do. I know that they really want the Hardys' recognition, but unless they're willing to go that extra mile by throwing in the, uh, giving, go ahead and giving them complete control over the broken angle or the broken thing. I know that right now there's kind of a, a legal battle over the character itself because it was something that was done in TNA, but it's something that Matt Hardy actually did. So that might be one of the reasons right now why, why they're not doing the whole broken gimmick. Um, but, I mean, if they, if they get full control over that broken gimmick, that's what they need to do. Because yeah. that's what got Matt Hardy's name back out there. It's what got Jeff Hardy's name back out there. Um, I say leave Matt Hardy's wife and kid as far away from, from the camera as humanly possible because we don't need it. It was kind of cool having them on there just for, you know, a little extra added, okay, Matt Hardy's really fucked up in the head right now. But other than that, I mean, it's just, it, it's nothing. You know, they there's really no reason for Rebby Sky or Maxis Hardy, Maxel, Max. Maxel. Maxel. Yeah, Prince Maxel. The fucking baby. The fucking baby, Luke. I know. Goddamn baby named Maxel. It's not Hogan. It's not fucking Hogan. Hogan. Woo, yippee, yippee. Hogan. No, it's goddamn Maxel. Who the fuck names their kid Maxel? Sorry. That's an awesome name. That's a fucking weird name, man. Maxel. Sounds like a fucking battery brand. You know, Takes a licking, keeps on taking. Oh no, that's a that's a watch. Uh, yeah, that's a watch. Yeah. But come on, Maxel. It, it not only does it sound like a battery brand, 
It sounds like a freaking 99 cent store brand battery brand. Or it could be a Pokemon. There is a brand named Maxwell. Tapes. Uh, cassette tapes, I believe. They, there used to be. Yeah. When cassette tapes were a thing. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the, yeah, Shay, you don't know nothing about no cassette tapes. He says, suck it. He thinks he's a DXer now. That fucking guy. Anyway. But yeah, man, I mean, I'm just, you get, if you're going to bring in the Hardys, bring them in right. Um, they're, they're in and they brought them in right. I loved bringing them in on res, in WrestleMania surprise entry after just having a match the night before a ladder match at that with the young bucks for the ROH titles. Um, so that to me, that was cool, but now it's like, okay, what are you going to do with them? What do you think they're going to do with them? I don't know what you, the fans out there of wrestling, what do you think the WWE should or are going to do with the Hardy boys? Give me a call. 909-360-8330. And shit, if you don't even give a damn about the Hardys, give me a call. Tell me to fuck off. I don't care. Um, At this point, man, I mean, I I popped huge for them at Mania, and now I want to see what the fuck they're going to do. Because right now, it's just been been two matches against, what, the the Cesaro and... Sheamus. And Sheamus. You know, they've done singles matches. All right, cool. What you gonna give me? Because yeah. you you brought back you brought back one of the coolest high flyers in WWE history, a guy who who is crazy just like Shane McMahon, and will literally throw himself off of any fucking high spot. What you gonna do with him though? Give him know. a fucking good angle. I want to see another swan toma- swanton bomb off the Megatron. Megatron is a freaking transformer. <laughs> You mean the Titan Tron? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, man. I mean, that would be cool, but it's been done. I mean, I'm not saying that I want to see him throwing himself off a of high shit. It would be cool, but it's been done. I want to see him in an angle as important, and I want to see them both in an angle as important as the broken, the the broken angle was. You know? I mean, shit, dude. You got Kurt fucking angle on that show. Let's make a good angle. Right, Mike? Sounds good to me. There you go. God damn, dude. I mean, I love me some Kurt Angle. Why ain't that guy in the ring? I know he's old and shit, but seriously. Uh, yeah, and let's, let's talk about, about Kurt Angle. Have you been watching Raw lately? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. So Kurt Angle is being goofy as shit. I mean, he's kind of acting goofy. I like it and hate it all at the same time because uh, I'll tell you what, man. I mean, I'm always a fan of Kurt Angle. I love bringing him back onto WWE TV because this is honestly where he belongs. But if, but I kind of wanted to see that TNA aggressive Kurt Angle back in the WWE. I kind of wanted to see Rusev stay on Raw and then Kurt Angle give him a, give him a ankle lock. Oh no, Rusev will probably break. You don't want him to break. He's 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 good. He's a good guy. I know. I just want to see an ankle lock. Well, shit, yeah, of course we do. You see Kurt freaking angle around, man. You want you want to see a goddamn ankle lock. You want to see somebody get their freaking leg broken, and you want to see it done in such a forceful way by an Olympic goddamn gold medalist. Yeah. Not some guy who thinks who who. Th- Who's an all-American, American, American. He's basically the white Mike Tyson. Yes. Yes, I'm talking about Jack Swagger. I know who you're talking about. Swaggy. So, uh, but yeah, man. I mean, I, I want I, I really wanted to see Kurt Angle come in and, and just be a fucking badass. I really did. I knew it wasn't going to happen, especially when they announced that he was going to be the general manager of a PG company. Um. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be going out there and just annihilating people, of yeah. course, because he's a freaking managerial role. He's not gonna break some legs. Yeah, he's not snapping people, not tapping or snapping. Uh, but that's what I want. I want an aggressive Kurt Angle. I want a Kurt Angle that's like he's he's the general manager, and yeah, he could be a little goofy, but I want to see him like straight 
punk a bitch out to tell him what kind of a match he's going to be in. Brock Lesnar. Oh, dude, I so want to see him and Brock Lesnar. I really want to see Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar go. Oh, it would be so good. Especially since Brock Lesnar fucked up a, a shooting star press the last time they wrestled. Oh, it would be so good. So good. No, man, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Kurt. And, and the goofy thing, it's going to work for, for a GM role on, on TV. Um, but, you know, you, we got to start to see a little bit of that harder side of him. Um, cause you, you don't want him to look like a pussy. You don't want him to look like a pushover. You know, yeah. you want him to look strong. He's, he's an authority figure. I think that's really kind of what screwed up, what screwed up Mick Foley. Mick Foley looked like a complete puss bag the entire time he was the general manager. He stood up to Stephanie a couple of times, but it honestly, it, it was feeble. It was a feeble attempt. Um, and I love Mick, and I loved seeing Mick on TV all the time, but I did not like seeing him getting pushed around the way he was. He's a goddamn legend and should be treated with respect, not with, not with oh, okay, here's an old guy. All right, there we go. Yeah, he wanted to stand up to Stephanie. He got fired because he gave Triple H to Mr. Socko. Okay. Mandible claw. Oh, okay. The 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 Socko claw. Yeah. Okay. See, you said you gave him a Socko. I'm I'm thinking he actually just gave him a fucking sock with face painted on it. <laughs> um, he did that with the Rock. Gave the Rock Rocco. Yeah. It was, it was just a, a airbrush sock with the Rock's face on it. Yeah. Freaking amazing. But yeah, I mean, it's it's decisions like that. Right now, having William Regal as the general manager role on NXT has been brilliant because the guy is equal parts. He's equal parts um, hard authority figure and generous authority figure. Like he's going to be a dick, but he's going to make it worth it. So and that's what I like about William Regal. That's just kind of been him. The whole shebang bang with with we with bit with Regal. Uh, there's been times where he's done, you know, nice face characters. There's been times where he's been dick face characters. And then there's you know, most of the time where he's just been a dick heel, which I love. William Regal can literally do no wrong to me. I love the guy. Um, the fact that he's a, a manager role on NXT has been great because you get to see Regal. And there's Regal is great. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. And why? I'll, I'll tell, tell you why. why. Because William Regal is one of the top five best wrestlers in the history of this planet. Sorry, but it's true. And that is my Simon. impression of Simon, Simon from What Culture. Culture. All right. And you can follow me on What Culture at Simon Miller 316. Sorry, I'm dropping his Twitter. Man, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Ma at the Jeff Maverick. Uh, I might set up Luca Twitter page just because he's Luke and he needs something like that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Anything pissing you off in the wrestling world? Give me a call, 909-360-8330. Oh, man, I really wish Cole was here. Cole's always pissed off about something in wrestling. Yeah. Always. That guy don't like wrestling anymore. He's at the WWE, uh, WWE show tonight. Don't like wrestling. Yeah. Man, no. See, I can't say that because Cole loves wrestling. Just. He, Just he hates the WWE it. for the most part. Uh, that fucking guy. Oh, and I'm getting, oh, no, I'm not getting bitched at. I thought I was getting bitched at on the book face. That would stink. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So as far as WWE goes, that's, that's kind of been my thing with them. I'm, I'm kind of irritated with their, their decision-making skills. Uh, and basically just throwing their, their stories together that night. It's something that happened with the WCW. It's something that happened with, well, I wouldn't say ECW. ECW did a lot of good planning. But, yeah, by the end there, they were writing shit down on napkins to get it out that night. 
Um, I don't want to see what happened to WCW happen to WWE. WWE has been a product I've been watching it since I was older than you. So, oh, they're drinking beer. Hey, Mike. 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 Son of a bitch, that beer looks good, too. It's so hot in here. Ah. All right, so anyway, um, but yeah, I don't want to see WWE turn into the WCW, and that's basically what's happening. They're hiring a bunch of people. They have too much, like too much product on the air. You can get the the network for 24 hours a day. You can literally sit there and watch wrestling. 24 hours a day, 365 because of the network. Then during the week, you've got a three-hour Raw, a two-hour SmackDown, an hour-long, what, main event? Or whatever they have during the week. I know 205 Live after SmackDown. Yeah, but that's on the network. That's not on actual TV. Yeah. But, and I mean, they've got, I mean, it's just, it's outrageous. When we have something like a thousand, and that's seriously low-balling indie companies in this, in this country that have a way better product, but they don't have any way for people to see it. Basically, what it comes down to is that you better hope that there was a match on your card that night big enough to get recognition on the internet. Um, I really want, I, I, I got to say what Dave Marquez is doing with the, the Wrestling United Network is actually something that's going to benefit these, these indie workers greatly. I mean, they, we've got championship wrestling from Hollywood, and I know we have championship wrestling from Arizona now, uh, which my boy Suave is wrestling on. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and I know that a bunch of other different states are getting their own TV deals as it's coming along. And it's great. It showcases our local talent. I mean, our guys out here in Southern California are fucking awesome. We have so many good workers, but because shows are only on the weekends out here on the West Coast, it's hard for them to build the name. It's hard for them to get an actual living from doing it. So they, what they need to do, I mean, it, it, it's almost too simple, is that they need to combine their efforts, which is something that Marquez is doing with the United Wrestling Network. So I'm kind of happy with that. There's only some stuff I'm kind of happy with. But, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's it's kind of hard to, to just sit here and rant about it. Um. What it comes down to is that I think our local talent around here really needs to be elevated more. Um, we have so many good workers from Ray Rosas to Tito Escondido to freaking high flying sensational Steven Andrews and, and those guys out there at the AOW. We have all of these different little groups running shows basically on the same day and making a fraction of the money that they could be making. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not a promoter. I don't claim to be a promoter. It, to me, this is just this is just fan speculation on how things could be ran. Um, I mean, if if we kind of broke down walls and 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 all this, I mean, I know we're all all these these different groups are competing for money, but they're they're competing for money using basically the same talent. So it's kind of hard. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. One of these days I'll run my own promotion and then I'll be able to actually tell you the ins and outs of what to do. But, you know, right now what, it need, what we need to do is get more of our California guys on TV. Get those fuckers elevated because they are goddamn brilliant. Uh, I mean... Some of my recommendations this week on SoCal wrestlers to look at are like Dickie Meyer. Kid's really, really good. Um, and give give Douglas... I, I know I always talk about Douglas James, but man, give Douglas James a look. That kid is fucking brilliant. I don't know, man. I mean, you guys tell me. Who do, who do you guys think I should, uh, should start looking at? I mean, fuck, man. Hit me up on Facebook. On, uh, you know, Jeff Maverick. Um... I mean, give give me something. Let me know what, what you guys want. 
what you guys like, what you dislike, what you want to see out of your indie promotions, what you want to see out of your freaking major promotions. I mean, shit, dude, it's not like TNA or WWE are really giving us much of anything. I mean, they're giving us what they think we they, we want, not what we we actually want. You know, I don't know. Hey, Big Mike, I think I want to go on break. Hey, Luke, be an intern. Go tell them it's time to go on break. Okay. Run. I don't know, man. I mean, this whole thing, this whole indie wrestling thing, man, I mean, these dudes around here are are really, really good. And it it bothers me to see that they're not uh, they're not getting the uh, play that they should. So, you know what, man? I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna take a break. Get my thoughts in order. That shouldn't take too long. No, not too long. No, C- couple few minutes. Couple few minutes. Yeah. So speak of the devil, the Hardy Boys music. Yeah, there you go. All right, give me a call. 909-360-8330 Heel Talk Radio
bad radio, good radio, and chaotic radio. In that order. All right, we are back. Heel Talk Radio. On chaoticradio.com. Ah, uh, Johnny Gargano. And Tommaso Ciampa. God, I love those guys. They're really good. Cole's out there watching them right now. Oh, doing flippy shit. And not getting their heads punched in by, by that bald dude with the funky beard. Was that Scott Dawson? Yeah. Yeah. You got to actually talk into the mic, bro. They they can't hear you. Sorry, yeah. Pull the mic down. There you go. There you go. So anyway, yeah, you know, we could talk about those cats. Um, <clears throat> I took you to PWG a couple of times. Yeah. No, oh, the song's still playing. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Um, okay, what was that all about? I thought we had a good engineer in there. What the fuck happened? Uh, we, so, we, you know, some we, shit just started getting blasted in my ears. We no make it exciting reason. for you. Making it exciting. exciting. Keeping you on your toes. Man, I thought toilet paper was bad. Getting my eardrums blasted out by Johnny Gargano's fucking ring music. <laughs> it's not toilet paper time yet, dude. Oh, is it not toilet <laughs> no, paper time? A, we have to wait for the cue. Oh, shit. Is there a cue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do I say something every week to get you to come in and throw toilet paper yeah, at me and I just don't you, know dude. about it? Yeah, you Hulk don't Hogan. know. It's not Hulk Hogan. It's like Poker Face, man. You gotta, you don't know the bluff. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? Okay. So, hey, Cole, if you're listening, which you're not because you're dirty son of a bitch, apparently there's a vocal cue for us to fucking throw toilet paper at us. Okay, it's Hulk Hogan starting now. It, no, it's not. You don't get to say stuff. You know what? In fact, you're muted now. You, Yeah, quit talking. So, anyway, um, yeah, man, Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, uh, see, it's not fair when she does it. <laughs> how did uh, that happen? I'm right here. I don't know how. Oh happened. man, yep. see, now I'm getting my destroyer over here. Oh, oh, he's 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 gonna fucking toilet paper you guys now. <laughs> pepper him, kid. Toilet bomb paper on him. war. Toilet bomb paper on him, son. Yeah, kick some ass, see bass. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh, oh, oh. shit, right in the toilet mush. Toilet paper war. Hey, toilet hey, paper war. Hey. Tell that kid not to throw it at the face, man. That ain't cool. Hey, you. All right. Yeah, you. Not at the face. Especially not the guy that's on the computer that could feasibly shut us down. Don't do that. Dummy. Dummy. God damn it, dummy. So, uh, free comic book. God damn it. Free comic book day tomorrow. What are you what are you looking forward to? Comic books. Well, yeah. But like what kind of comic books? I know that you you love Nightwing. What do what do you like about Nightwing? I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. If you're gonna pick a uh sidekick turned turned uh superhero, Nightwing, Nightwing Nightwing definitely would be my top pick on that one. Shit, dude, we'll turn this into Jack of All Nerds podcast real quick. All right, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're going to start talking comic book shit now. Uh, yeah, man. So what is it about Nightwing that that you dig? I mean, you know we got Injustice 2 coming out. Um, I really got into... I'm already gotten that shit on hold. So. I, I really got into Nightwing once the first Injustice came out. I really liked his look for the for the um, long-haired night and red suit Nightwing. Oh, you liked the Damian Wayne Nightwing because yeah. he killed dick grayson to become nightwing yeah okay so you like bad guy nightwing yeah okay 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 so basically what you're telling me is we got to go get some injustice comic books when we get there yeah um hopefully they're staying open late that would be great grab a couple of books to read over the night hell yeah yeah what do you think mike 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 i didn't hear no hogan Hogan. Hogan. Oh, oh, yippee, yippee, Hogan. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi, but she wouldn't give it to me. No, Cherry Coke. Oh, sorry. We got Cherry Coke. Oh, oh no, no, no. We're changing the song. We're changing the song. A little bit. A little bit. Hey, okay, so we're going to talk comic books, man. What's what's some of your favorite comic books? I know you're a fucking nerd like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I know um, you're a huge fucking nerd. I don't know. I mean, I was a huge fan of Deadpool comic book. 
And then, of course, the movie. Everybody loved the movie. Oh, dude, that movie was off the chain. Did you see the 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 teaser for the next one? I have not. I have not. Everybody's talking about it though. You got to watch. It's it's so stupid that it's great. Dude, I know. Uh, you know they already have. Uh, well, Deadpool's going to be doing in uh, in X Force X Force uh, yes, next year. Yes, they're supposed to be doing it. Supposed to be doing X Force. I mean, everything. See, that's what I don't like about those Fox those Fox Marvel movies is that shit can flip on those in a dime. We were supposed to have a fucking Gambit movie this year. Gambit. Yeah, it's still in the works, isn't it? They've been saying that for fucking ever. That would be that would be Dude, excellent. Dude, it was Gambit it was supposed be to be awesome. Gambit with Channing Tatum playing Gambit. I don't know how that would have been, but I would have given him the benefit of the doubt because I fucking love Gambit. Yeah, oh yeah, he's one of my Gambit. top favorite freaking X Men. Yeah, oh yeah, Gambit's awesome, but yeah, isn't this supposed to be a summer release or is there not even? It's not even nothing, dude. There is nothing about it anymore. Really, really, I think they. I'm I'm almost positive they fucking canceled that shit. Well, shit. But I was pissed, dude. Because I'm gonna get I Fox on the new on the right? call right now. Fucking tweet that shit. Yeah, yeah we're dude, tweeting, they, we're dude. Tweeting. They they read their tweets. They really do. No I talk shit, shit uh, on Fox News all the time. They're always trying to talk shit back. It don't work because they're fucking retarded. I'm tweeting. I'm tweeting right now. All right. There we go. See? Fucking big Mike Madness. in there. We yeah. want Gambit. Dude. We want our goddamn Gambit we movie. We want Gambit. What about you? You want, a ga- you want a Gambit movie? Yeah, I want to see some. Yeah, I want to see some explosive cards. Fuck yeah. You know what? Since we're talking about Gambit and we're also talking about shit that pisses me off tonight, um, Gambit, his little dinky ass part in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. Dude, was that not, like, one of the biggest, uh, I, I don't know, like, misuses of a character? It was just, like, yeah, it was supposed to be a cameo. They were supposed to use that for the next one, but they didn't do anything with it. No, they were, like, Gambit was supposed to be, like, this big, they made him on the commercials and the trailers and shit, they made Gambit out to be, like, like he was a part of the fucking movie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. That's and right. then, and then he was in it for like five minutes at the beginning and like five minutes at the end. I mean, what they did with him was okay. It was cool. They could have done I a lot the more. Car- I hate the guy that they got to play him. Well, yeah. Well, think about they did the same thing with Joker with Suicide Squad. The com- the trailers were all about the Joker, all about the Joker, all about all the right. Joker. He had a total of what eleven minutes in the movie. To be fair with that, okay. Even Jared Leto is pissed off about that. They're, they cut so much of his shit out of that movie. I mean, it, it, with see, with it, this one's kind of a touchy subject because I, I, it's one of those movies that I both love and hate because the movie made absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. They it, it was it was rushed in character development. I mean, I didn't even know a lot of the characters. Dude, who they, they were. gave they gave a couple of them people two fucking origins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You noticed that too. Yeah, I did. Like freaking what was it? Harley Quinn and and Deadshot, both. It was Deadshot, right? Yeah, both got two like two little origins thrown in there, and then you get like five minutes about, or not even five minutes, like like a thirty second blurb about why the Croc or why Killer Croc, Killer Croc. is there. Yeah, you know? well, I mean, and then, of course, Katana, we don't know who the fuck she was. Right. Nobody knew who she was. Uh, okay, see. Where did Enchantress come from? Okay, now, as far as Katana goes, if you want a really cool take on Katana. Yeah, well, play Mortal watch- Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you a point. There you go. Thank you. I got a uh, point. I'll yeah, give me. you a point on that Woo. one, Big Daddy. You know, my fucking, uh, Mortal Kombat's my shit, dude. Oh, I fucking dude, I love, love Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. But, uh, <laughs> but... If you want a really cool take on Katana, watch Arrow. Like, Arrow, I think it's season two or season three. Is she really get, a part of that? You get a really big part of that. And it's not really much of anything that's actually in the comic books, but it's kind of another cool little, like, side thing that they could do with her. Because she's not really a very well-known character in general. Well, I mean, I mean, can you name... A- can you name where a lot of the characters from Suicide Squad were from? Honestly, I know Captain Boomerang from The Flash. Okay. Um, Killer Croc, freaking Harley Quinn. But where's Killer Croc from? Killer Croc. What universe is he from? He was a Batman villain. Yeah, okay. But yeah, he was, a lot of people don't know that. And they well, didn't no, have any everybody knows that. That's the reason why he was in that movie. Well, a lot of people in the comic book world 
Well, yeah, no. What I'm saying is, is like because of the Arkham games, and he was in those, and those things sold fucking everywhere. Well, yeah, yeah, of but, course. But I mean, but I'm like, just saying, okay, if you're not, so, if you're not nerd or game. So world. you got like you got Deadshot, yeah, Deadshot, who, who's really when it comes down to it, he's a he's a Green Arrow villain or a Flash villain. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you know, he's Green Arrow or Flash villain when is mostly where you see him. You got fucking. You had Slipknot, who was in there for a total of, what, a minute before he got his fucking head blown off? Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't in there. I mean, and, and... But still, I mean, they, I mean, they had more time with his, uh, with his when she was going through the, the files and talked about him than he was actually in the character. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. See, and that's kind of what bugged me about it. Like, El Diablo, who was fucking cool, he played, by, being my favorite. played by Jay Hernandez, yeah, that character, man, they could have done so much more with that cat, right? Oh yeah, with, with uh, Diablo. Yeah, yeah, they didn't do much with him, and they had his little backstory about how he burned his family yeah. and whatever. See, I personally thought that that movie, instead of being so focused on Harley Quinn and Deadshot, because I and they do that because it was Will Smith and Margot Robbie, of course. Which okay, I get it. They're the names in the movie. Yeah. You know, give them big ups. But I thought that movie should have been about Captain Boomerang and El Diablo. I really did. Because Captain Boomerang, to me, was the funniest fucking character in that goddamn movie. Yeah. The yeah, dude yeah, was, was awesome. always trying to sneak off and fucking drink a beer. And and that goddamn unicorn, pink unicorn thing that he's got with him all the time was just, it, to me, it was just great. I wanted to know more about the Captain Boomerang character. In fact, not not so much did I want to know about the Captain Boomerang character because I know a bit about it. I'm a big Flash guy. I love the As Flash, I can see by the show. Right? Yes. I've been a Flash fan since I was a little kid. He was actually the one that got me into the DC universe. I'm wearing the old school Flash. Yeah. So we got... So I know a bit about Captain Boomerang, like his comic book iterations, his kind of goofier side stuff. Um, I know his character from like the Arrow universe, the Flash universe, from the like the CW TV shows. Yeah, I want more of this one. Jai Courtney's fucking uh, Captain Boomerang to me was interesting as fuck. He he was funny, and they could have just they could have done a lot more with him. Um, give I want to see more of his backstory. All I knew about his backstory was that he got caught by the Flash. Robbing a bank, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all. That's pretty much all they said. That's all. That's yeah. literally all they said that's about all they him. Said. So you know what? Give me his backstory. Why is he robbing shit? Why? Yeah, yeah. Why is he robbing stuff? Why is he? Because that's what the Suicide Squad really is. When you look at the comic books, the Suicide Squad is a tale of redemption. It really is. You, you've, you've got these villains. These fucking vile fiends, oh, the 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 hateable wretch of the universe, right? And you you can fully just have it to where you can you can get a redemption story out of it. Harley Quinn is a fucking psycho, but she's a psycho with a heart of gold, you know, or or something of that nature. You know, do something. Have these characters have some sort of a redeeming quality to them. That's the one thing that they did do well with Deadshot. Right, Mike? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I they, got a little distracted. There. Yeah, what, um, are you gonna, what, what are you doing? You're a part of my show tonight. I no, don't have I, anybody no, no. but the kid to well, talk no, to. Well, yeah, we'll have, the, we'll have to ask the kid a little question here. What do you think, uh, Mr. Luke, uh, about villains in general or comic book villains? Um, they should really get a shot at redemption. Who's your favorite comic book villain? Yes. I've, I don't think I've ever asked you that before. Um, it's the Joker, just because I used to really like Batman. Okay, okay. Like the animated series and stuff. Well, that's cool. You know, I mean, the Joker is a very iconic. God damn it. No. Okay. It's just the way my hair's parted tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Earlier when it shot it? over there, I I, it, I thought I had like a bald spot rocket. I'm like, no, no. Are you watching yourself? I am sometimes. Um, You know what, dude? Okay. So if you were to take a wrestler. All right. Because this is a wrestling show. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about comic book wrestling. Let's Hold see. on. Well, they did have comic. Oh man, did they ever have some comic books? Undertaker had his own comic book. Oh, did he really? Yeah, and and I loved it. I free that the art style in it was great. 
uh, Kane, Paul Bearer, and Mankind were all in it, too. Um, no, really good comic book. Anyway, if you were to cast a wrestler to play Nightwing, which wrestler would it be? So you know, you know it's got to be somebody who's kind of skinny and agile, and so somebody like Seth Rollins. Somebody like Seth Rollins. I don't think Seth Rollins would make a good Nightwing. No, he definitely wouldn't. Who do you who do you think would make a good Nightwing? And it doesn't have to be WWE. You know, you know guys from the Indies that would work. I mean, who who do you think? Um, Ray Rosas has a chance to work it, but <laughs> Ray Rosas. All right, hey Ray. Ray, if you're listening, man, Luke thinks that you could be Nightwing. I'm I'm not sure. I don't think Nightwing could pull off a beard the way that Ray Rosas pulls off a beard. I don't know. That's just me. That's, that's just all I'm saying. If I were to cast Ray Rosas as any uh, comic book character, I would probably go with Oh, this one's kind of tough. You know what, dude? I th- I think I think Ray Rosas could be a decent Wolverine. I think he could do. I I think Ray Rosas could be a decent Wolverine. Uh, Nightwing, not so much. He is agile enough to do Nightwing. Um, but if I'm casting Nightwing, I'm casting Nightwing as. Dude, I'm going with Matt Jackson on that one. You know, just have him cut his hair. Mm-hmm. You know, and then yeah, dude, Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson, Matt and then the Young Bucks could definitely or, pull it off. Or, or Johnny Mundo. Yes. Because I just watched a Superpower beatdown where it was uh, Nightwing versus Winter Soldier, and Johnny Mundo played the Winter Soldier. But I think he could have done Nightwing. D- could have done Nightwing too. Just had to cut the hair a little bit. So that that is what it is. But uh yeah. So hey Mike. Yeah, what happened? I went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy today. Oh, did you saw you saw it already? I saw it today. Don't tell me any spoilers. Oh, I'm yeah, not no, a yeah, dude, I would never spoilers. do spoilers. I'm talking to Mike. Oh, no, I haven't seen Mike it yet. Mike hasn't seen it yet. I oh. was supposed I, to go last night and it got canceled, so we are going tomorrow. Oh, that stinks. I will say it is Definitely worth going and seeing. I liked it. It was a very, very good movie. I almost wish we would have went and did the 3D. Really? Yes. There are some parts of that movie that you could tell they just made for 3D. Okay. Uh, the visual effects on this movie are absolutely brilliant. How Freaking do you like Baby stunning. Groot? And Baby Groot fucking makes this movie. Really? Yeah. No, not really. Not really. I mean, no, but he's, he, he's the he comic is relief, though. He's you know what? I'll relief. tell you. You want to know who makes this goddamn movie in, in most of the parts? Is is Batista. Fucking Drax. Dra- you think? Oh, well, I he do. Has, he, has the comic, he has those comic he's, moments. He's a comic relief character, too. But in this one, man, I mean, it's just... Yeah, you could... You, you, you gotta see it. I don't want to give anything away, but Drax is so good in this movie. Um, Kurt Russell as Ego, the Living Planet, was fucking amazing. I, in fact, Kurt Russell is probably the best, one of the best Marvel characters out there right now, bar none. Really? I ab- freaking absolutely. Kurt Russell. <laughs> Kurt Russell's character, Ego, the Living Planet, is one of the best Marvel characters in a movie right now. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it Kurt Russell that was the guy in Ant Man? No, no, was, no, no. That was Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. There Kirk you go. Douglas played Hank Pym in Ant Man. Yeah, the old there you guy. go. Yeah, who was actually Ant Man, the the, the first Ant Man. Yeah, Michael Douglas. Yes, Michael Douglas. Kirk yeah. Douglas's son. Something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. We got the genealogy of the Douglas family <laughs> back go. in order. Uh, but yeah, man, I think I think it's really cool bringing these older cats into the into the Marvel universe too. Oh yeah, it's bringing everything together. Yeah, Marvel's doing an excellent job on on timing and and story and all that stuff. And we all agree, well, DC is just rushing everything. They are. 
They are. So I take it you've been you you've been here during the the nerds podcast and the rantaholics on that. Oh yeah, yeah. We we talk about it. Yeah. Well, and and that's something that definitely needs to be talked about. I mean, I'm not. I know that this is a a wrestling show, but God damn it. I'm going to talk me some comic books because tomorrow's free comic book day. And we're camping out tonight. And you're camping out. So and you got to be prepared because so you're going to be you're gonna be sitting with a bunch of nerds tonight. you got to be all, all up. You definitely. know I got to go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. So, but yeah, man. I mean, the, the Marvel Universe. Now, to be fair, they did get a little bit of a jump on the DC. And that's why DC's rushing it. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah we agree. They started with uh with oh hell was it Iron Man? No, before Iron Man. No, no, it did. It started with Iron well, Man. Iron, Iron Man, Man was the start of of Phase One before it was Phase One. Yeah. Um, they Iron Man kicked it off for everything. I don't think anybody knew it was going to be such a success that it was. No, no, you could you could you could tell that they didn't, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, I mean, the next movie that they came out with was the, uh, what was it? The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton, which I thought was good. Um, and I really liked Edward Norton in that part. But freaking Mark Ruffalo is just so much better. Mark Ruffalo is awesome. Um, I can't, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. There was a Hulk. There was an Incredible Hulk before Edward Norton. That was the Norton. one with David, ba or uh, Eric Bana. Eric Bana, that was his name. Okay. Eric Bana and was that his movie name. failed uh, miserably. Miserably. That yeah. movie was crap. Yeah, it was. It was because, not well, great. I mean, it also had um, Nick Nolte in it. Oh, yeah. yeah Nick yeah, Nolte played that. the bad guy. He played what was kind of, uh, kind of like the Abomination, but he wasn't really the Abomination. Um, I thought Tim Roth as as the Abomination was really freaking good. What is she talking shit about now? Uh, no, no, she's uh, she's doing our uh, video video oh. production over here. Okay. Oh, so, so she's the one switching to four different cameras. Yeah, yeah. Stay off the behind my head ki camera angle. It makes me look like I got a bald spot. Well, if you just lean back just a half a hair, you should be good. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Okay. How's that comfortable for you right there? Actually, you know what, man? It, it kind of is. There kinda you is. go. I'm lounging now. Now, what, but, uh, Luke? Luke, what? Um, what what is your opinion on the subject here? You you're you're Marvel or you DC? How how do you feel about this? Oh, uh, dude, Mar Luke Luke likes DC characters. His favorite comic book character is a DC character. He's more of a Marvel guy though. He's Marvel. Well, he yeah. just said he had mentioned Flash was his uh, was his character. Well, Flash is one that that he definitely likes a lot. Well, you talk, you tell him. Tell the story. Um, tell him. You know why why uh. You like a you bastard. She put it back on that one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, that's our video producer right there. Okay, tell him the reason why. Even though a couple of your all-time favorite comic book characters come from DC, why you're a Marvel guy? Um, I like more of a Marvel guy. Sorry, I'm more of a I'm more of a Marvel guy because I re I like the Marvel movies better. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. All right. And I'm going to go one further. Okay, not only are the Marvel movies better, but let's face it, the Marvel comic books are 99 times better. I mean, I like, there are DC characters that I absolutely love that I can, I, I really couldn't go without. Well, I don't know. I was a huge fan of Spawn, and I, that wasn't Marvel. That was Image. Yeah, I was a yeah. huge fan of Spawn. 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 Spawn needs another movie. Doesn't he though? Spawn totally needs a freaking like a Deadpool like rated R movie. Yeah, that something would be full of of blood and guts. They're doing a Spawn TV show on Stars. Okay, they I, used to have one on HBO. If you remember they did. the animated the one, the, the animated yeah, one, the which animated was one. amazing. It yeah. was it's to this day one of my favorite pieces of animation. And I'll never know who Spawn is. Yeah. No. Well, if they finally well, bring it back. No, I'm talking because he he ain't allowed to read or watch anything like that. Well, has he said? Some... Has he seen Deadpool? Nope. Oh, he hasn't seen Deadpool. No. no, 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 no. Has he read or anything about Deadpool? Not really. No. No. Okay. No, his only real thing about Deadpool was there was a an episode of Spider Man that had Deadpool on it. <laughs> two is, episodes. Is two Deadpool episodes. part of? I guess he is part of that universe. But he's Marvel. I know he's Marvel, but he's more of the X Men universe. Yes. Uh, I don't know how they were able to use it in the cartoon. 
because he is Fox. You know, Fox owns that character. Fox used to own. Well, no, they signed contract finally. That's how they were able to put him in uh, Civil War. Uh, the Captain America, Spider Man, yeah. yeah. And then now which, he's going to be in. Uh, which, uh, uh, when I went well. and saw Guardians, uh, they they had the new Spider Man Homecoming trailer, mm-hmm. and damn, does that movie look good? This kid that they got to play him, uh, like at first I was kind of iffy about him as Peter Parker Spider Man because he just. To me, he doesn't throw off that vibe, but when you look at it as a whole, and the fact that they got... Dude, they got Michael freaking Keaton to come in as the vulture. Yeah, yeah. I love Michael Keaton. I love Michael Keaton. He's he's awesome and everything, but he's, he's to me, he's Batman. Right? That is my Batman, That's too. That's my Batman. That is my Batman. Yeah. He I will like, always be my Batman. I like Miles Morales' Spider-Man better than regular Spider-Man. Wait, who's, which one's that one? Miles Morales, he's the, uh, he's the amazing, black, the Amazing Spider-Man one. No, the Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Um, it he's from the Ultimates universe, but he's now in our universe, kind of thing. He's a black kid from from another universe where Peter Parker died, and okay. he ended up getting the powers kind of the same way that Peter Parker did. Why am I not familiar with that? You know what? I don't know why, man, but yeah. hey, he's a freaking great character. You got to check that and one. He out. plays not Peter Parker, but he plays. No, no, no. Miles Morales is, is Spider- He's Spider-Man. Yeah, he's Spider-Man. He's Spider-Man. He's not Peter Parker. Peter Parker in that universe is dead. He died. <coughs> okay, okay. Uh, Miles Morales is the one he gets bit by the spider and, and gets the powers. So, you know, and, and it's it's cool, man. I freak, I've read a lot of those comic books, and man, they're fun. They are a fun read. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a different take because this kid's only like 13. Really? Yeah. He's young. Yeah, he's and he's Spider Man. Right? And he's Spider Man. Damn. Yeah. Shit, dude. The last time I read a, a Hulk comic book, he's a uh a gay Chinese kid now. Yeah. Wait, what the hell are you reading? No, I'm dead serious. It's really it, yeah. Amadeus Cho is is now uh the incredible Hulk. He's got the gamma radiation, but he is when when he's Amadeus, he is a gay Asian kid. But when he's the Hulk, he's freaking super smart Hulk. Like, like, stupidly smart Hulk. So, I don't know, man. Hulk as in Hulk smart or as in Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner a Hulk? Like, let, let me throw it down to you like this. Like, he's got Bruce Banner's intellect in Hulk's body. No shit. Yeah, sort of. But he's still Amadeus Cho. But he's just super fucking smart. And the Hulk. I mean, they did a, a version of the Hulk like that years ago where where Banner was actually in control while he was in the Hulk form. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, um, I'm trying to think. Who was that did did it well? Um, I guess I guess I have to go back to the TV show with... Um, Bill Bixby? No, the other guy. Lou uh, Ferrigno? Lou Ferrigno. Well, okay. Same show. Bill Bixby was, was David Banner. And, or sorry, Bruce Banner. Actually, in that show, he was David Bruce Banner. Yeah, and okay. then and then Lou Ferrigno played the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, dude, I actually just got to meet Lou Ferrigno. Uh, did you? Yeah, we went to WonderCon a couple months ago. I thought that was last month. It was. Yeah, yeah, last month. Yeah, last beginning month. of last month. So yeah, we went to WonderCon, and uh, Lou Ferrigno was one of the ones there. No shit. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. I'm like, yeah, it's the fucking Hulk. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, right. Was he uh was he uh cosplaying or anything? No, man. He he was just there as Lou Ferrigno of oh. TV's The Hulk. Oh, okay. So he was playing uh cosplay as Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, he, <laughs> Lou Ferrigno was playing Lou Ferrigno. That's correct. So. From a totally different thing, I got to meet Murray from the Goldbergs. Oh, yeah. Um <laughs> Shit, what the hell is it? Yeah. Yeah, we were we Wait, from were, the Goldberg from the TV show. Yeah, the TV show. He got to meet the dad. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I got pictures of it. Oh, that's an experience. Yeah, I'll throw. Right there. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, sh- I'll fucking show you. Um, but yeah, so that is so weird when he goes mutes his mic. I can't hear that anymore. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Drax was so funny, so good. You'll see tomorrow. I know. You'll see. Mom's taking me tomorrow. Yeah. I know, because I asked her to. Okay. Because I felt guilty going and seeing it without you. 
let me let me let me uh, elaborate here on with Luke here. He met the uh, the guy from the the TV show, the dad. What was his name again? Murray. Murray Goldberg. And how? What kind of experience was that for you? Were you all in awe and shock, or do you follow the show, or how does that work for you? Oh, dude, he loves the show. He loves the show, so that's how you knew who he was. Yeah. Were you all like starstruck? You're all excited. How how did you feel about that? I was excited. You were excited. Did you get a, you you got pictures with him? You said. Yeah. Okay. Did you get him to sign anything? Dude, you got to talk more. You're, these one word answers are nothing. Your crappy interview. Uh, sorry. Damn Dad. it, kid. No, come on. Talk. Spreckenzy. Tell the story. Tell the story. How was it? How was it? Okay, just just set the mood. You were standing there in the in the lobby, and um, I just went out went out of like the Goldberg's panel, and then I was with my friend Thomas. We were yeah. No, we weren't in the Goldberg's panel yet. It was oh, the yeah. uh, um, the imaginary Mary yeah. panel. We just came out of there. We we were talking to my friend Thomas, and then he walked by, and I was like, "What is that, Murray from the Goldbergs?" And then he said he wouldn't take a picture with anybody until we told him his name in real life. And then my dad looked it up, so we told him, and I got a picture. <laughs> you had a good dick. Look. You had a good <laughs> dude. You straight narked me out on, on the radio. Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then you told him his name, and he was all, "Oh, you guys are great fans." La la la. How'd that go? Well, you know what's funny though, man, is that I in in real life I am a fan of Jeff Garland. Okay. Which is his name. But when you see somebody that you that you know, like you know you know this person, you don't know where the fuck you know them from, or if it's a celebrity and you realize who they are, like honestly, name blanked. Yeah, that happens that happens a lot because you just you have all these emotions and stuff going through because you're like like you said, yeah, you know them and you're like, Oh, I know them from wherever and so forth. And yeah, so but I mean I've been watching Jeff Garland stand up for years years okay and i love the fact that he was that he ended up being the dad on the goldbergs he's funny the dude is freaking hilarious and he is literally one of the best parts of that damn show so yeah i had to look it up because it's like oh i know it's jeff i can't remember his last name for the life of me it was right on the tip of my tongue i said marlin for some reason i'm like jeff marlin i think is what is and then i looked up no garland Okay, there you go. Go tell him. Did he see you look it up, or did you sneak it in? He had already walked away. Ah, okay. He had walked away, and I sent Luke and Thomas running down there, which was hard for Thomas because he was dressed up as a freaking, uh, um, uh, shit, what the hell is that thing called? I, I forgot, but it's one of those little What are the little guys. midget things from Star Wars? Ewok? No, not the Ewok, the... The, the Guy, little the guys dudes in the robes with the glowing eyes. Oh, 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 my God. The sand people. The uh, sand, yeah. What the hell's their name? I can't remember their oh names, though. God. I think I think we just both lost our nerd card right now. Oh, fuck, man. I got to go get this Yoda tattoo surgery yeah. off my arm now. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck Luke, me. Luke, uh, I was going to ask you a question Use right now. Use the force. Use the force. I'll have to think about it. Hold on. Okay, so what's the question? <laughs> um, no, Luke, does he does Luke know the name of the little sand people? No. No, he can't remember. No. Man. No, I totally I totally lost it. Um <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, here it is. Uh, did Luke dress up as cosplay? Did he cosplay? He yes. did. Uh, were you one of the little sand people as well? No. What were you? Uh, <laughs> that day he didn't actually cosplay. He he kind of did because he he was wearing a, a Chewbacca sweater. Chewbacca sweater that if you zip it up the front, it's got the face on it. Oh really? That's awesome. It's freaking badass, dude. That's why he's got the the nickname of Chewy between all of his coaches. Oh, uh, Chewy wore Chewy. That, he wore that for the first day of practice one season, and the name stuck. That's how. Did, he, did you cosplay on any other days? You went three days, right? Yeah. Um, one of the days I went as Yoda, and no, you didn't. Sorry, not Yoda. <laughs> Beast Boy, and then the other day I went as a Hufflepuff from Harry Potter. A Hufflepuff? Yep. Are you a big Hufflepuff? A Hufflepuff. Are he, you big Harry Potter? Oh, yeah. he's huge. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, and I am a Hufflepuff. Are, are All you right, well, if you guys have any questions for the Super Kid Kid, give us a call, 909-360-8330. Anybody watching on YouTube, you could 
send me a little freaking uh, question right there on the chat. You know, we could, we could do this. Yeah, that's how that works. That's how that works. You you send me a question on the chat, I will answer it and try my hardest to not make either one of us look like a jackass. Uh, well, good luck with that. Yes. It's very hard on my end because I'm kind of a jackass. Well, we can let them think about it, and I think it's coming up to be about that time. Oh, is it about that time for the breakage again? Yeah. It's All right. There. Well, hey, you guys think about what kind of a question you want to ask me. You want to ask the Super Kid Kid. Hell, if you want to ask Mike Kaiser a freaking question. He'll answer it. He'll answer it. Yeah, yeah it, I don't know anything. but I'll, You don't I'll know try. nothing, but he can do it. I promise. I'll like try. All right. Why he likes Hulk Hogan so much. <laughs> Hey, yeah, he said it. Ask that question. Oh, <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> there you go. 909-360-8330. Heel Talk Radio. All right, all right.
It's raw. It's uncensored. It's live 24 7. It's chaoticradio.com. We're back. He'll talk comic radio. That is correct. On chaoticradio.com. What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at me like that for? You know what? No ice cream for you. No ice cream. That's cruel. I'm not going to do that to him. I'm probably not going to get ice cream for myself. Either. I was going to say, you can bring us back some ice cream because I'm sweating the hell. In hey, bro. Here. Hey. Feels great right here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're lucky, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have them luxuries. Hey, we could trade spots, but this show ain't going to be any good. I know, I know. I was just be talking about, uh, uh, I don't know, fucking whatever. I don't even know what the hell you're into. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I know he likes Hulk Hogan. <laughs> woohoo, yippee. I like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, woohoo, yippee. <laughs> See, I can do it too. Uh, so, anyway. We were talking about comic book movies, and uh, yeah, that Spider-Man movie looks really good. Um, what was the other one? Oh, they they had a trailer for the new the new Transformers flick. Um, when the fuck did Mark Wahlberg get in those things? On um, the last one, on the really uh, the fourth one, yeah, he was the, the new guy. Oh, okay. And we got a fucking limey looking at us all weird. The last night, Transformers. The last night you're talking about. The yeah, movie. yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. Like, that that entire fuck... I guess not seeing the last movie really kind of fucked it for me. Age of Extinction, it talks about uh, how all the Transformers are uh, all dead or whatever, and they found okay. one. And You saw the trailer. That's pretty much the trailer. I mean, okay, yeah, because... Oh, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Do it. No, you ain't going to do nothing. All right, so anyway. But yeah, this trailer, man, I mean, it just fucking looks stupid to me. Like, Optimus Prime is a bad guy. Like, what is it with these movies that are coming out where they're their lead good guy for several freaking movies? In fact, Optimus Prime being one of the best good guys for, like, the last 30 years. But, like, in the new Fast and Furious movie. Vin Diesel, yeah. Vin Diesel's a bad guy. Yeah. I'm not letting you talk anymore. No, no, we gotta we gotta have All an right. opinion. What's his opinion on the subject? But but now they've got now in this movie, freaking Optimus Prime is a bad guy. Um, in the animated TV show, he turned a bad guy too. Oh, okay. For how long? For one episode or for 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 like a series for like season? For like two seasons. For two seasons, Optimus Holy Prime was shit. bad. What the fuck? When did that? Where that, was that I when this happened? That shit did not happen back in the eighties. Yeah, right? I remember crying my eyes out when Optimus Prime died in the freaking Transformers movie. You remember that shit? No, he didn't die. Yes, he did. In what movie? In the Transformers movie, 1984. Or 87? Some shit like that? I could not remember for the life of me that movie. Oh, dude. It, yeah, it's an animated movie. The Transformers. It, that's, it's called The Transformers, The Movie. What is it called? The Transformers, The Movie. <laughs> Luke fucked it up. He was supposed to say, what, what, what was that again? <laughs> you know oh. What you. was that again? Nope. It's already done. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, hey, yo, bada boom, bada bing. Bada boom. Hey, you but never told me we were supposed to do that. No, you, you, you should know from all the years of listening to me okay. on the radio. Anyway. Uh, he's your son. He don't listen to you. you know, Wait, you mean like, a, like one year? Hey, man, I've been doing radio for five years. Oh, wait, yeah, you're original. Yeah. That's right. Toxic Underground Live every Tuesday night from 5 to 9 p.m. Or, sorry, 5 to 8 p.m. Now you're going to p- get people to think they're watching, listening to that in the, in the future. No, no, no. That <laughs> show's over. <laughs> that show is the shit. What do we have Tuesday nights from 5 to 9? We have Tuesday nights from 5 to 9. I don't even know, dude. I have to look at this guy. Man, I suck at, at, at radioing. Uh, we have Beautiful Disaster from 4 to 6 on Tuesdays. And oh, yeah, that's with Cat. Cat Motorsports from yeah. 6 to 7. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We got, we got a show with Cat, right? Yeah, That's cat. beautiful disaster. Beautiful disaster. Right, and then we got chaotic motorboats. Motorsports. Chaotic motorboating cat. Yeah, yeah. That's all the whole episode. All right. But we have a new show that just started this last Tuesday, uh, completely unscripted. 
Okay. It talks about uh, movie industry. And, yeah, and that's industry. uh oh shit. I I've got this guy on Facebook. I don't Carl I don't, Evans. Yes, Carl Evans. Yes. So yeah, give that a listen. I'm all about freaking movies and shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm. I've got Tuesday nights off. I'll give a listen. Give a listen. I will a- give a freaking listen. That will be one more listener. What are you? Okay. I don't know She's giving you the double bunny ears. Oh, like, is that what's happening? Like Hold you're on. some sort of a weird anime. Let me pull up the screen here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah look, oh, wait. Look. We could see you in one of these now, can't we? Yeah, I'm right there in the back corner. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, what yeah. Me, 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 me. All right. Wow, so people know how ugly you are. Oh, I know. Can got, you believe it? Now we got Super Kid Kid doing it to you, too. Oh, All no. All right, that fucking oh, kid. Oh, no. What is happening? Um, but, man, there I is... didn't know he was behind me because he's still on the screen. Right. <laughs> I don't do that, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I was like, damn it. That's that's why I never get like when you're about to come in and throw a toilet. Even though I'm looking right at you, uh-huh. I'm, I'm getting not really back here. Pay- oh, I know. That, that was a kid. kid. Uh huh. I was a kid. So anyway, yeah, I'm, gonna um, the, I'm gonna review the tape here and see. So we uh, another one of the trailers that I saw was one that I've already seen, but I I oh, I, I love it every time. But they showed the Thor Ragnarok. Trailer. Oh yeah, we had just talked about that. I've oh, seen dude. it like once. I have watched the Thor Ragnarok trailer, the full trailer, probably a good five or six times now, and it gets better every damn time because I'm starting to notice other little things that could be a part of other things. Now that I've seen another one of the movies in the universe. Yeah, no, uh, it looks really good. Um they're going to, that's with the Thor. Uh, I think that's going to relate to, I guess, the new Avengers. Yeah. 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 Everything right now is leading up to Inven- Avengers, uh, what, what is it? Infinity War? Yeah. I think yeah. So. The Infinity Wars. Well, I believe if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be a part of that in some form yeah, or the matter. No, Guardians, of, like they are all, all of them. Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Avengers. Freaking all of them are coming together to fight Thanos. Thanos, Black the big Thanos. Thanos. The big bad is finally going to fucking be yeah. here. You know, they set up that Black Thanos Panther. thing so excellently. Yeah, you Okay, I know you weren't here at Chaotic at the time, but... I've been here 30 years. How long have you been here? You s- shut the fuck up. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> anyway, no, you weren't here at the time, but when Brandon had the fanboy universe... Mm-hmm. Um, they had the original guy that played Thanos, you know, when he was just the little cameo at the end in the, uh, I think it was like the post credit scene. Thanos like turns his head at the end of the Avengers. Yes. Yeah. At the Avengers. Um, and they no had, one knew who he was. Yeah. No, that, well, I mean, the nerds did nobody. Yeah. Nobody who, who didn't read comic books knew who he was, yeah. but ever. All of us diehards who actually read comic books. Yeah, we were all excited. We, we were like, were oh my like, God, yeah, Thanos. It's fucking Thanos. But Brandon on Fanboy Universe, they had Damian Porter who played, the, who was Thanos in that, that little clip before they had gotten Josh Brolin to sign on as Thanos. Uh huh. So, the, you know, there we go. We've got our little Marvel Universe connection right there. We had the guy. Well, I didn't. Freaking Brandon did. They had the guy. They had the guy. I, in fact, not just once, but a couple of times. Damien's a, a really, he seems like a really cool dude. I I made sure to listen on those episodes. Oh, those were the days. Yeah, they know their comic book worlds. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was uh, it was Brandon and Christian at the time. Okay. I'm, was, yeah, I'm not, I don't know him. Yeah. That was before my time. Christian Stoa. Way back in the day. Back in the day. 40 years ago. 45. 45, 45 years, five ago. years oh, ago. Yeah, I remember, dude. I was like in high school when that happened. Oh shit, dude! I had just gotten back from Nam. Did you really? I did. <laughs> oh man, you lucky bastard. Yep, yep. Oh, I did. I wasn't in a war, Luke. I no. just went to Vietnam yeah, because I, they have great food. You were never born 45 years ago. Never born. He never was never born. born. I was never, never born. born. Well, okay, let's get Mer. let's get real nerd real quick, just because. Uh, All right, you're talking. You brought a fan fanboy universe. Okay. Can you name or do you know how many of the power stones are there? You mean the infinity stones? Yeah, what the hell did I say? She said the power stones. The infinity stones, I'm sorry, damn it. I'm pretty sure there's like five. There is. Five that Thanos has. 
There's there's five. There are six. There's six. Yes. Now there's, can you name them? There's the Mind Stone. Okay. Time Stone. Yes. The oh shit, the, the mind, the body. I believe. Uh, where's my? Oh god. Now you're gonna look. It I up, was gonna, Google, gonna Google, Google the shit. Yeah, it, yeah. You know what? I got a goddamn computer right here, and it says a hooker. Yeah, but you can't you can't see yourself if you do that. Well, the only reason I bring it up is because there's a lot of speculation in the geek forums that I follow and stuff uh-huh. about when we're going to see the sixth one. Well, see, and they, they were thinking, uh, and uh, I know there was some speculation that one was going to be dropped in Guardians of the Galaxy. That was one of the speculations. And and there's, I don't know, there, there, there could be a couple of things in there that could have been. Well, we don't, we don't want to give too much spoiler alerts, though. But yeah, exactly. That's that's why I don't really want to talk about it because okay, today okay. is the day the movie came out. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, okay. in Guardians. But there was nothing in there concrete about what could have been. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not like in the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie where they unlocked the ball and the ball had the fucking purple one. Uh huh. You know, there there were a couple of things where it was like, oh, maybe the stone took on a different form. Because, you know, like, we got the Tesseract, which is an Infinity Stone, the fucking cube. Yep. You have uh, the the gem in the middle of, of uh, Vision's head is, Vision. a, is one of them. Well, the, the goofy red shit from the Thor, the second movie, the Ether, that's a fucking Infinity the Stone. One on, uh, the one on Loki's staff. No, 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 no. That's actually still the same stone as the Tesseract. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, no, but in the second Thor movie, the ether, the the red gooey shit, mm-hmm. um, that's an Infinity Stone. Okay. I mean, they, they, we've gotten almost all of them. Um, yeah, one of the other one, one, I believe. Well, we're we one. we had the Eye of Agamotto is is another Infinity Stone, which was from Doctor Strange. That was his amulet on his chest. Yes. So so yeah, there's like one missing, and we've only got a couple of movies that it could be in before that movie comes out. Yeah. So I think we've got Thor Ragnarok coming out this year. It's actually out in like a couple of weeks. Well, we've got the Spider-Man coming up as well. Spider-Man 2. Yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming's coming out too, but I don't think that one's going to have no, I don't any so of either. the Infinity Gauntlet shit. I know that he's going to be in the, the Infinity Wars movie. Yes. But he's, yeah, I don't think any of that's going to be in. Because, you know, Spider-Man's really, when it comes down to it, he's like one of the ground, he's like the top ground level dude, mm-hmm. you know? Like, The Defenders, which is going to be fucking great. Have you watched any of the Netflix mo- Marvel shit? No, not, not, I'm not up on it, man. I, I fell behind a little Bruh. bit. Okay, I so. Fell up on the t- I fell behind on the TV world in all aspects of in comic yeah. books. Okay, so you got Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. All four of their series. Those are all DC. Those are all Marvel. These are all ground. Yeah, These Nick are all Cage, ground yeah. level Marvel guys. These are all like the dudes that are are trying to save parts of the city, not parts of the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't follow. Like I said, I don't follow any of the TV yeah. ones, but I'm familiar you really with. Should they're they're really really well. Made. Are they linking them together yes. in the in the these, world? These are a part of the same universe as the Marvel movies. Okay. They they have like little nods to the Marvel movies in each, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, in the first one, like, it's in the wake of all the bullshit that happened in the first Avengers movie. Okay. So Daredevil, the season one of Daredevil is is like everything you hear about is what happened with the aliens coming out of the sky and you know half the city's destroyed and being be- rebuilt because of that shit. So that's you know, it it's cool. But these are the ground level guys, and that's where. Spider-Man is too because even though Spider-Man is like he does become an Avenger and he does go outside of of just New York um he's really kind of considered the king of the ground level dudes you know he's he's like he's, he's mainly New York yeah he's mainly sticking to New York to save uh whereas like Captain America has gone all over the world and, and he does Iron Man same all over thing, yeah. all over you know these these are the guys that that go and and deal with the intergalactic shit, <laughs> like Thanos. Yeah, like Thanos and and all these guys. Whereas these other dudes, they're gonna take down guys like you know the Hobgoblin and and 
the rhino. <laughs> Shit like that. Val- Falcon. No, Sorry, not, Falcon. not Falcon. The vulture? Yeah, that's the vulture. what I meant. Yeah, but see, and that, that right there, bring in, bring in the vulture in, Michael Keaton as the vulture, and the way that they're making his suit. Like, everything about this says new school Marvel. Like, the way that they've designed the character. Like, in the, in the, in the comics... Yeah, it's it's kind of a contraption that makes him fly with the wings. But what they're doing with this one is that it's kind of like a drone that's attached to his back that makes that him fly. Makes him fly yeah. It, yeah, and it to me it's kind of cool. And in the comic books he's also this like super wicked old dude. Like old. super wicked. Yeah. Well, you remember the vulture from the the comic books and like the the Spider-Man cartoon? Oh yeah, yeah. The vulture yeah. was always portrayed as a really old guy. Yes. For the most part. There have been iterations where he's been a younger guy. Well, then you bring in Michael Keaton, who's not necessarily, like, the oldest dude in the world. But he's still a little younger than what I would have wanted. But I know he's going to freaking crush this role. Oh, I know course. he is. I mean, if you saw Birdman, you know what kind of a, a weird fuck. Did know. he win an Oscar for that or just the movie won the best picture? I'm... At, I'm Honestly, not sure. I don't keep up on any of that kind of stuff. I, I f- try sometimes. Uh, well, uh, uh, speaking of uh, Michael Keaton, um, he's going to be Beetlejuice again, which I'm really excited oh, about. Oh, dude. I Okay, so you know the new show on Wednesday nights? Uh, shows again now, not so much on the shows. Thursday nights. Oh, on, on uh, our network. cock push-ups. Yeah, it's not cock push I know, he changed it. He Fucker. changed it. You know what? But didn't I not give him that name? Dude, that name was fucking great. Yeah, yeah. And no, you I hated... Here. You had him here on. on that night. I hated cock push-up squad, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That sounded stupid. <laughs> that sounded like a it. bunch of dudes that are going to get together and circle jerk each other. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. He even made reference to it, if you heard last night. I, I was only able to catch tidbits of it because I was in an area that didn't have the best service. Okay, well, he started the show like... Uh, we were going to call it cock push-ups, but we didn't think it was going to work. So we're going to call it sex talk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it, <laughs> isn't it let's talk up. about yeah, sex? It, it, it's all up in the air. It's yeah. all up in the air. You know what? Uh, I'm going to come in on the show the next time. Yeah, and, and bring back cock push-ups. I'm going to, dude. That was the best name ever. Right? We had it that night. It we is so it much night. better than like, like fucking 90% of the names of what we have here just because it's original. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it, not, I it's mean, vulgar for the sake of being vulgar, which I love. Yeah, but then you have to start every episode doing. Yo, cock push up. welcome to cock push up. <laughs> what up? I could have done that every week. <laughs> that would have been fucking hilarious. You know what? Fuck you, Talk Radio. We are now cock push up. No. Cock. Oh wait, then I couldn't bring my kid in because yeah, that doesn't work. Thank well, you. he likes it. <laughs> he's all about it. He's all yeah, yeah, woo. No, he's not. He's Oh, he don't like it? No. Because right he can't say the word. You know what? Hey, hey, hey. What? You videography. Hey. <laughs> oh. That's our video, no, for, she's video producer. Paper girl. No, no toilet paper girl. I know what she's going to do. She's a dick. She's going to put my. Yep, see? There it is. <laughs> Asshole. Wait, what'd she do? She put my. No, Shut no, up, no, no, Luke. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to capture Luke. You're trying to capture Luke. They want to capture you. <laughs> no. They want to yeah, capture you. Yeah, we're going to capture you. Put you in a burlap bag. So they're doing the Bella Twins. Is that a Harry Potter thing? No. I don't know what he's talking about. From Frankenstein's. Uh, oh, from Frankenstein's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so Frankenstein's, if you're into collecting anything, comic books, um, playing cards, playing cards, wrestlers, uh, statues, statues, anything like that. That big ass motherfucking sword that's up in there. Uh huh. You could get shit like that at Frankenstein's. It's a giant collector swap meet. It's yeah. fucking amazing. It is the best place in the world, bar none. And if that's you, where I got to meet. Road if you have money. Animal. Yeah, uh, it's expensive. It's it expensive. is. They got the statues well, over there. Well, it's not expensive. What it is is that it, if you're into that kind of thing, that's how much that shit is. Those, those statues. Shit, dude! I was looking at a re- at a resin bust of of Spawn, mm-hmm. you know, just because Spawn you know, is awesome. That's why. Yeah. And it was going for. I had looked it up on uh, a website of the guys that actually sell it. 
they were only selling it for twenty five dollars over what you could get it for on the website. Really? Yes. And that was specifically because that's how much they had to buy it for, and they have to make a profit. Of course. Well, if you if you want if you're into vintage video games, they have everything. Right? Yeah. Oh I, mean, I saw God. a Neo Geo there. Who the hell has a Neo Geo? I don't know, but if you find that person, let me know because I would love to play that. Uh, oh shit! What the hell was that? The little uh, caveman dude with the giant head. Oh oh oh! Your fucking con- head, but cron- cron- bonk bonkers. But what the hell's his name? I think it was bonk. Bonk, just bonk. I think so. It might have been just bonk. Yeah, but they have. Uh, they have. When I was there, they had the Neo Geo. They had the uh, Dreamcast. They had them all. You know what, dude? I I want them to make a very good remake of Battletoads. They made a horrible remake. I know they have. Yeah. I want them to do a really, really good one, though. Battletoads 1 or 2. The first one. The first one. First one. I want a nice and polished version. The exact same video game, just with updated graphics. I, I mean, the 2D side-scroller thing, that right there, that is still perfect to me. The side-scroller, like Contra. You remember Contra? Oh, dude. That was an excellent side-scroller. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, <laughs> B, A, start, bitch! That's right, that's right. Hey. 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 You remember when they made reference to that in the movie uh, Wreck-It Ralph? Dude, anytime you have some sort of video game thing nowadays, they, they have to reference the Konami code. I think it's in the contract. Is it really? Yeah, I, I, It's got to be, dude. Knows. But, yeah, man, the Konami code was the shit. And it wasn't just for Contra. It was for literally every Konami game. It did something for it. So, really? Yeah. Because there's another For the game. Most Konami uh, made a game, Rygar, I believe it was a Konami game. And I don't remember even trying that code for that. Yeah, Konami built that code into a lot of their games. And it doesn't, like, give you 99 lives on all of them. But that was fucking nice of them to do on Contra. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's the only way to beat holy the damn game. shit, that game was hard. Yeah, oh yeah. But it was fun. It was really fun. You know what, man? I think my mom and dad... Uh, and I know my dad's listening because that dude always listens. I think they still have my old NES. Yeah. I think they still have my Nintendo 64, too. That's what I'm doing when I leave the show. I'm going to get Hi, my Papa. old Nintendo out. Yeah, dude. I want to get I want to get a Nintendo and a Nintendo 64 and straight up a PlayStation 2 just so I can get Def Jam Vendetta. Oh, you know what? Uh, um, Twisted Metal for PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Twisted Metal Black. Yeah. Oh, oh. my God. Hours and hours of playing that. Yeah, we were Dude. lonely guys when we were <laughs> Yeah, <young>. we were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm so lucky I have kids. <laughs> right? There was a good chance I was going to be a virgin until I was 40, to be honest <laughs> with you. But <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with that? Okay. I would never be I'm alive. Still. I'm bum, still. Bum, bum, bum. That the thing explains that's wrong so with much. that is I wouldn't be alive. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. But I probably have a lot more money for video games. That doesn't matter. <laughs> you know I'm messing with you, kid. I know. love this guy. Talking about you could buy a video game for PS4 now. I do See? constantly. We have a bunch. We have a bunch, dude. I've got all four Uncharted games now. Really? Yeah. Wait, there's four. Oh, there's four. There is. Oh there's four. Don't we still have the Street Fighter like? Five? Uh, I've got Street Fighter Five, and we've got Overwatch and uh, well, Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch is pretty. Oh, good. dude, Overwatch. Lego is the Batman, just shit. because I wanted it. People are all about Overwatch right now. Dude, oh, you know what, man? If you don't play Overwatch, you need to. I played so it fun. I've played it a handful of times on the on the PC and I mean, I like it. It's just Yeah. I hear it's really good on PC. I can't get in My my problem is is that the the whole I don't know, the computer, the keyboard, mouse thing to me, it's to me it's just fucking foreign. Un- I can't do it. Well, but as to a but lot of people. Here's the thing. If you use the the control peripheral for it on the comp- or on the PC, it's it easier. doesn't work correctly. It if you because get the game, proper if, if you, you get, get the, the PC if you get the PC version, it is built for the PC. Yeah. yeah, it is built to play on PC because they have a they have console versions, and you cannot use the keyboard mouse for the console versions, even though they do make the peripheral for it. Well, it would be very difficult for a console. I think it's you just, get it's- banned for using it. Because it make because of the way that the keyboard and mouse work, um, it it's faster and easier to to uh, aim on people. Faster to aim, turn around, turn around. You have you have that more control. Sense. You do. 
You yeah. have more control. You have hot keys and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 very strict. But the, see, my problem with it is, is it's just the way that everything is set up. I you have to get used to it, it like anything. But as you, if you're a controller player for a dude, long time, I've been time, yeah. I've been console since freaking Atari. You know, that's... Well, I mean, I the cut, controller was I the stick my, and the button. You talking it, about the stick and the button? Uh-huh. Just the stick and the button. Yeah. Um, I mean, shit, dude. I, I cut my teeth. I used to own the arcade. Street Fighter 2, when it first came out, I was probably about 9 or 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Fucking owning dudes that are 30 at the bowling alley. <laughs> the bowling alley. At the bowling the alley, shit. bro. My mom, my right mom. Right after school, we get dropped off at the bowling alley. We would play Street Fighter all freaking night. My mom has been on bowling league since I was young, super young. So I grew up every Friday night for for damn near my the entire first quarter of my life. Um, in in the bowling alley, dude, playing video games. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I was right there with you. We shit, we probably playing together. Probably, dude. Concourse in Riverside, bro. Okay, yeah, we weren't playing together. <laughs> dude, I'm from I'm from the Inland Empire, man. I'm I'm born and raised out here. Okay, so well, born in Orange County, raised out here. So, uh, I played that OC shit though. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Um, but yeah, so we're actually gonna be going off air here pretty quick now. Shortly. Very we shortly. hope you enjoyed the wrestling talk show. Here. Yeah, you know, like dude, the last couple of times I've been on the air, it hasn't really been the most wrestling of wrestling shows. It's been like but you know what? Shows. This is how I keep my show interesting. I know you guys tune in for wrestling, but hey, maybe you get a little bit of information of other notes. Maybe you just tune in and think, man, this guy is fucking nuts. Oh, I think they already think that. Uh, dude, I hope so. Because, be you know, now that you guys have put my fucking face out there publicly, um, yeah, I need to I need to keep the weird ass psycho stalkers away. So, yeah. yeah. He ain't even paying attention. Fuck that guy. Fuck yeah, him make in sure head. I'm safe. Yeah, you're not safe. Yeah. No. Um, so, I yeah. think I think uh, we did not put your face out there because uh, you have your face everywhere on Facebook already. That's on Facebook, though. Oh. Not on YouTube. I was I the same to, shit. Social I try to media. not be on YouTube. Not social really. media, social media. Actually, I got a channel on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, there ain't nothing on it. Do you really? I do. You actually uh, do. What's your, what's it, your it's, what's it's just episodes of, of Heel Talk Radio. Oh, oh really? And, also, and a promo I cut on Damon Divine like four years ago. Why? Because uh, he's a douchebag. Yeah. Yeah, it. that's right. Damon Divine. He went to China. Still a douchebag. <laughs> what I miss, I don't you, know. The hell I you don't know who that is. Yeah. You should cut a promo on the guy who maimed me. Oh, all ego, Ethan Page. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that Canuck too. That mother Canucker. Actually, you know what? On the real, I like Ethan Page. I do. He mooned. Um, me, but he mooned my kid, and he he needs a dick punching. But I'm not gonna be the one to do it because that guy is much bigger than I am. A dick punching. He needs a cock punching. Not a cock push up. Not a cock push up. Not a cock push up. A cock punch up. Yes. Because he mooned my child. Like uh, like the Hadouken from uh, uh, Street that, Fighter. Definitely Hadouken. like the Hadouken. Dude, that new Street Fighter game is kind of tough to play. Hadouken. It's, it is. Man, I don't know if I like it or not. What? Wait, you're not? You're not? No, you're she's not, not allowed to fucking throw shit in here anymore. Wait, Tell you're not liking the Street Fighter? I'm Rolling not. In here. I'm really not, dude. The fact that it only came with 12 fucking playable characters pissed me off. Well, yeah, well now you have to buy them. I know. Yeah. And that's what bothers me. Yeah, okay, you gave you gave me my two favorite. Okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Ken and Ryu. Of course. Love my Ken and Ryu. But you know what, dude? I kind of like playing as as Blanca. You're a fan of the Blanca. I'm a fan of the Blanca. I kind of like playing as Blanca sometimes. Uh, I'm a Nash. And, and I'm pissed that fucking Sagat is not in there at all. I not like even a Nash. purchase. Not even a purchase. No, I don't even think he's a purchase on that one because his his fucking face. Well, you know what? He may be a purchase. I, I don't, don't know, man. I didn't. I I don't know the way. Well, they the, have hidden characters as well. The way that the I don't know, dude. I I haven't unlocked anybody. You keep fucking looking at my door. And nodding at somebody. I just got a twitch, dude. Yeah, I got a twitch. You making fun of my disability? I can't believe yeah. you. I got uh, twitches, man. I, I think twitches. I think your girlfriend's out there, Luke. Hey, let me tell you. Let me tell I you. I thought though. so. Hey, Luke, lock the door. 
Do you remember? There's no lock on that door. Yes, there is. Luke, shut and lock my door. All right, we're not going to comic book day. Yeah, that's right. There's no comic book days. No more comic book days. See, there's a lock right there. Sucker! Suck it! You you know we have keys. (laughs) I don't give a fuck. (laughs) I'm about to go off air. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and go off air right now. No, so y'all can't fuck me over. Goodbye, everybody. Huh? No, I can't. It's unacceptable. It is unacceptable. I made a commitment, motherfucker. I will be here until at least 7.58. 7.58. So. Eight. Yeah. Anywho. You'll be uh, here until 7.58? That's an hour over, dude. No, it's not. 7.58. That's an hour under. Yeah. So you're already gone, apparently. Yep, I'm, I'm, dude, I've mentally checked out and waiting in line for free comic books tomorrow. Free comic yes. books. How, I long, how long do you think the line's going to be? Okay, so long. last the last time we went... We got there at like four o'clock and we were within the first twenty people in line. By the time nine o'clock rolled around, that that line was up and around the building. So I'm hoping people have decided to go to other comic book shops this year to check them out. But I doubt that's gonna happen because quite frankly, Four Color Fantasy has done the best free comic book day that I've been to so far. Have you been to a lot of them? I have. I have actually. I've gone to several different ones now. Um, there's, there's still comic book shops in this country that don't do anything. They just have it. So, all right. So, go ahead. Give us a check out next week. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. I'm thinking we may end up having Tab Jackson from EWF coming in. Hopefully, um, hopefully if not, no big, no big deal. We're not getting Johnny One Mundo day. yet. Uh, maybe a little sooner than later, hopefully. Um, but give us a listen, uh, every Friday night from seven to 9 PM PST only on chaotic radio.com or check us out on the YouTube people on YouTube. Peace. The people on YouTube.